Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another inks comparison video and this is turquoise inks comparison number one. So I think with that, let's swap up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the description, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomare River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomare River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad. These are the pads that I actually use when I'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink. So they have these little squares up here. Uh, I just use that because it's a good guide for me when I put this very thin sheet of Tomoe River over I can actually see squares, so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page. Not always, but sometimes it does. The The other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen or... <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3D, and it has a number eight size Bock nib, which I can unscrew, and you can see there. So it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size Bock nib, and the idea is I want to have consistency with the writing sample so I use this I dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it that's uh, how I do my ink swatches so I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink I have here is in an old Diamine labeled bottle, but it is called Diamine Aqua Blue. So I think let's do an ink swatch here. And you can see here, this is a very lovely uh, turquoise colored ink. Uh, very, very beautiful shade, very light as well. Now, I will do uh, a top pass overpass there, uh, just on the top half, just to show the difference between a wet and a dry or a broad or a narrow writing nib. So this is Diamine. And this, I'll just go over that again. There's a little bit more greeny there. And it is Aqua blue but you can see that that's quite a nice uh, blue uh, aqua turquoisey colored ink the next ink here is a diamine aqua lagoon so we'll do an ink swatch here now i will say that this is just a little bit more on the greener side of things uh, compared to the aqua blue still i i would say it is a turquoise colored ink we'll do a second pass over the top half here just to show the difference between a wet and a dry or a broad and a, a narrow writing nib and this is diamine and it is aqua lagoon 
But I do actually like this as a, a turquoise colored ink. It's a little bit more on the greener side than the blue. Hint of green, I would say there, but it is quite a nice color. The next ink here is uh, a Pelican Edelstein ink, and it is Aquamarine. And we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, this is more on the greener side. So uh, is this a turquoise ink? I don't know. I've seen it listed as turquoise. Um, it's certainly more of a greener. I'll do a second pass over the top half to show the difference between a wet and a dry or a broad and a narrow writing nib. But as you can see there, it definitely is more on the greener side. So it, it's actually making Aqua Lagoon not look as green potentially there so this is a uh, pelican uh, edelstein and uh, it is uh, aquamarine and typically marine colored inks uh, do tend to be a little bit more on the greener side so Maybe this is an odd one out here, but I thought I would actually show it just to show because uh, some people and, and certainly some stores do actually list it as being a turquoise colored ink. To be honest, I'm not so sure on that one. And then the last ink here is uh, an ink. Uh, it was a pen show exclusive. Well, I say pen show actually. It was a Hippo Noto exclusive and it's Hawaii Blue. So we'll do an ink swatch and I would still say that this probably is a little bit more I guess when you're getting you're getting more lighter there it's not too bad that is certainly a turquoise ink we'll do a second pass over the top half show the difference between a wet and a dry or a broad and a narrow writing nib and I have to say to start with I thought that that was looking a little bit a little bit more on uh, a darker blue but i'd have to say certainly the drier writing or drier swab there is certainly uh, more turquoisey in color so this is a uh, kwz and it is hawaiian blue or hawaii blue but that equally is a nice blue ink uh, I typically, when I go for turquoise inks, I do typically prefer to go with the lighter blue turquoise inks. So I think let's now take a look at these uh, inks now that they have dried. So the first ink here is Diamine Aqua Blue. And you can see that this is a really nice turquoise light blue colored ink. If you look at the difference between the wet and the dry, you can definitely see a difference there. Um, you can also see a lot of shading around in the pooled areas there as well. You can also see some shading on the writing sample. Now, is there any sheen to this? And I want to say that there is a slight amount of sheen going around this area here with some red sheen. It's not a huge amount, but there is a little bit of sheen there. So the turquoise colored ink will sheen a little bit, but you're not going to see a massive amount of sheen. The next ink here is Diamine Aqua Lagoon. And again, this is actually a nice uh, sort of turquoisey on the green side of turquoise, I know, but this is a nice turquoisey colored ink. Hence why I think it's called Aqua Lagoon. Now you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. There is a, quite a bit of shading going on here as well in the pooled area. Um, the uh, writing as well has some shading on it. Now does this have some sheen? I want to say that around the edge here uh, and around the edge here as well, there is a slight amount of sheen. It's not a huge amount though. Uh, typically turquoise colored inks don't sheen that much or at least in in my experience they don't but uh it is uh again quite a nice if you if you want a turquoise color ink but you want it a little bit more on the greener side then definitely check out diamine aqua lagoon 
Now, the next one, I think, probably is definitely not a turquoise coloured ink. Um, uh, I always thought it, it had been. Um, it's it's more on the greener side, and it's Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine. Uh, you can definitely see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. It's almost, I'd say, certainly on the wet side, looking more like a teal coloured ink rather than uh, a um, turquoise coloured ink. There is a lot of shading going on, though. So if you want something that is maybe a little bit on the green side, but a little bit more darker than Diamond Aqua Lagoon, then you could look at Pelican Edelstein uh, Aquamarine. But you can definitely see the difference between a wet and a dry, and there is shading there. Is there any sheen? Yes, there is. There is some uh, lovely red sheen around the pooled areas there that hopefully you will be able to see there. Very, very nice uh, uh, um, uh, sort of red sheen going on. So uh, typically, though, it's probably not a standard turquoise colored ink. And then the last ink here is KWZ Hawaii Blue. Now, again, like it is definitely a turquoise colored ink. You can see here in the dry side, it is much more of a lighter blue color, sort of turquoise color. Uh, when you put it in a wet writing nib, though, you can see here it actually comes out more like a darker blue. Now, you could definitely see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. Uh, there is a lot of shading going on there, certainly when you're using it in a wet nib. Now, uh, is there any sheen? Yes, there is. Uh, you can see some red sheen around in that pooled area as well. So this is a little bit more on the darker side of turquoise. Uh, it's something I would still call a turquoise color if you are going to be putting it in a drier writing nib. So there you have it. That's my turquoise inks comparison number one video. If there are any of these inks that you like, let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any other turquoise inks that you think I should check out, do let me know in the comments below. So that's my turquoise inks comparison number one video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.